hello beauties so today is saturday november 4th so i've been trying to keep up with um the challenge that i gave myself to record some videos for the month of um november so here's another video now honestly i'm just out and about um running some errands and doing a few things that i need to do being that this is my day off my husband's day off and yeah that's pretty much it so let's talk about my um devotion for this morning it was talking about the book of job and it was talking about how uh the trials the tribulations the things that job went through basically you know he said he stood faithful and stayed faithful to God throughout all of those trials and tribulations and then it also talked about how you know we can trust God and continue to um, have faith in him throughout whatever it is that we're going through and in the end you know Job was able to see that God brought him through whatever it is that he um, was going through sickness or whatever so the same thing with us and then it also mentioned something also and it said that even if you're not able to um even if you you know your trials your tribulations even if they don't pass or um while you're here on earth and and this resonated with me a lot even if you're not able to be healed um or even if you know, whatever it is you're going through doesn't subside while you're here on earth. We still have, can have hope in knowing that all of that sickness, whatever it is that we're going through is, you know, it, it, it's no longer there once you make it to heaven. Um, and that's something you can look forward to. That's something that can also motivate you as well because... You know, truth be told, everybody's not going to make it to heaven. You know, we're praying and we're wishing and we're hoping that we do. But at the same time, what are we doing in order to make it, you know, or and to ensure or to have confidence that that's the way that we're headed. That's the direction that we're headed. Our lifestyle and the way that we live, our actions, um, our hearts, our minds, those that, that determines... Um, whether or not we will actually have that ability to make it to heaven, okay? The relationship we have with God and being saved, you know? And it's an everyday thing. It's not just a one-time one, one -time thing where you um, pretty much get saved, ask for forgiveness of your sins. You believe that uh, Jesus is the Son of God. He, he was sent for the purpose of redemption you know through him dying on the cross um three days later he rose you know the gospel the whole story and everything so it's not just that you know a lot of people feel like it's just that but it's not it comes with the lifestyle that you live and the actions it's what you do after that you know and full repentance means not just a temporary thing where you say hey lord for please forgive me for doing this please forgive me for doing that and it's not taking advantage of his grace and his mercy um by knowing that yes we have that gateway and we're able to ask for forgiveness and i you know used to be guilty of that like okay yes i can easily ask for forgiveness of my sins and i can easily be forgiven you know but it's pretty much like you're abusing you know the grace and the mercy that god has on us and you're abusing his sacrifice that he gave us, um, that he, uh, you know, allowed for us to have, uh, sacrifice his son down on the cross and us having a, a gateway and a way to be forgiven. So we really have to think about all of those things in one. And that's what pretty much determines our, you know, ticket to heaven. So it's according to how we live. So yeah, I just wanted to get on here and say that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to end the video now or maybe add some later on. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much like 
the start of a vlog for today and um i want you guys to be blessed and remember jesus loves you god loves you and he's the only way i get on my comfy leggings and my crocs yellow shirts we're over here in downtown this place here um the mel bean coffee shop definitely want to try that out i'm really not a coffee drinker however you know one good old day come and chill grab some coffee maybe like a little pastry or something and yeah Hubby went inside to get some gas. I really need to wash my hair. I'm not really too concerned about dyeing my hair because I love my grays. But I do want to get it um retwist it or interlock every time i retwist my hair because it's so like soft it um it usually don't last too too long or whatever but i think um i really want to try to get it interlocked that way i can see how much longer it lasts i'm pretty sure it will last but yeah So this is the gas station. I was just thinking like, it is so cool how you see a lot of gas stations now that have, um, you know, like places to eat. Look at my husband. My handsome husband, my kid, king. Yes. But yeah, I was looking at like how um, some gas stations, well, a lot of gas stations nowadays have these little uh cafes or even some have like restaurants that sell food so those all those people out there that's like really into like catering or you want to start off like your cooking business and you don't want to go ahead and rent out like a whole building or spend a lot of money there's a lot of local gas stations and even um convenience stores that Pretty much will allow you to you know it brings business to them as well allow you to rent out maybe like a little area for you like the kitchen or something so you can make money and it brings them customers so yeah i just thought that was a really pretty good um idea so there's different ways i mean for you to start your business get it off the ground or whatever just wanted to share that y'all probably already knew that but for those of you who don't know yeah 